Bà and good morning Vietnam. Americans in distress. Okay, let me get back away from the camera a little bit. I gotta do this before I have to go to work. But I had this crazy like dream last night, which really wasn't a dream, it was more like a vision. And I, I was just contemplating things, sort of half asleep, half awake, and this came to me out of nowhere. And this is pretty crazy. Now in this vision, what I saw was a collaboration of governments between Israel and Germany. A collaboration of Germany and Israel. Israel is looking for a new currency. I mean, we've given Israel billions of dollars over the years, and they have made themselves into the number one military power in that portion of the world. Let's face it, they are. They've got their shit together when it comes to military. Now, and you ask, well, how could Germany do this? I'm telling you, Germany wants out of the EU. Germany wants out of the EU. So what I did is, I said, who's got the most gold? You know, who's, who could make a currency? Can I see this? I can't even tell if I can. Okay. But the first gold holding, of course, is the United States. Has the most gold. Number two is Germany. Here's Germany, a country that we fucking... I'm sorry about saying that. It's early in the morning. It's we, we bombed them back to the Stone Age. Just 60 years ago. And now they're the number two holder of gold in the world. Hmm. Germany is going to bring back the Deutschmark. They're not going to... The Deutschmark. They're not going to um, have the EU. They're not going to sync with the EU. And all the rest of those countries over there, France, Italy... You know, Italy's got a lot of gold, but I think they're like America. They've got a lot of gold in on the books but physical gold they don't have okay that's pretty crazy now you say a collaboration between Germany and Israel that's impossible hmm let me tell you Germany are some smart son of a bitches and they're really smart when it comes to weapons and military crap but see under the treaties of World War II they can't do a lot of stuff but Israel doesn't have that restriction these are the Dauphin class subs that were that were sold to Israel engineered and built in Germany and you know what Israel does is they take these weapon systems like they've taken our weapon systems the F-16s, the, the, the M1 tanks, all that stuff and what they do is they put their own technology in the uh, in the aircraft or in the tank that way when you have to buy replacement parts we don't have they don't have to depend on America to get them why do you think Buffett went over there and put a billion dollars in a bunch of factories because they're they're manufacturing their own um, replacement parts that have to be replaced in helicopters and, and any aircraft or any military equipment after so many hours of use. And mil Israel does not have to depend on America. Once they get the frame and the engines and everything, that the basic structure of the weapon system, they just modify it. And uh, now it's their weapon system. But these are Dolphin class submarines and a new Leviathan class submarine will be coming out pretty soon in 2012. These things are, can hold tactical nukes and regular nukes. They don't, of course, they don't mention that here, but they do, because Israel is not recognized as a nuclear nation, even though they have. It's well known how many nuclears and tactical nukes they have over there, and they're only the only ones that have them, basically, in the whole um, region there. Okay, Dauphin class, and these were sold ten years ago. Wait, ninety-nine? Yeah, ten. You know, over ten years ago, they've been collaborating this 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 merging. Uh, military thing and why would Israel and Germany okay, Israel is a big military it, Germany's got the manufacturing might they got the money they can have their own currency backed by gold the dollar were fell it, uh, the United States would be in turmoil Israel's gonna walk right out of this now watch this um, Israel what's this one again I'm getting mixed up Israel reports new Mossad chief behind assassination of a nuclear scientist in Iran now this is pretty crazy. This hasn't been on the news. But there's been like five of these Iranian nuclear scientist guys murdered. And this last one was just murdered a couple days ago. And uh, they're, you know, of course, Iran is blaming, um, Iran is blaming Mossad in Israel. And they probably are guilty. And the World Council on Religious Leaders. What this is going to lead to is they're also going to back this World Council of Religious Leaders. And this has been going on for another like 20 years here, but it's it's actually gaining power now, and this is going to happen soon too. The, Mer the American dollar, I, I've said t a year ago, we were under attack financially, and it isn't a financial attack. We are in a financial war right now, and the American government doesn't want to admit it, but we are. 
we've been attacked financially. They're going to bring us to the brink. I didn't think the Dow would collapse this far. I thought it would go back up. But who knows what's going to happen. I know GM stock is tanking, and we just lost a lot of money on that deal. But what's going to happen is Israel-Germany collaboration. Israel's going to, Germany has the, the gold, the world currency, the manufacturing, the technology. Israel has uh, the military, and Israel has something else to offer here, too, that Germany doesn't have oil. They have, they have discovered, they have tapped these Leviathan oil fields and they have, they're not, they're not, these oil fields are not going on in production right now and you ask why. The world needs oil, the world needs gas, Israel really needs oil and gas. Their economy is not, is, is slowing down a little bit, well, it's doing better than America. But if they had the oil and gas they could be booing. But they're waiting because they know that vote for it in, is in September for the United Nations to decide whether or not Palestine can be a independent state which they're going to vote for because out of 192 countries, 160 of them are going to vote for it. And they want to go back to pre-1967 wars. What would stop this? What could stop this dead in its tracks? A collaboration between Israel and Germany. Germany owns, owns all the manufacturing and political and economic might in the whole EU. So they are the word. They're the last they are the last word. I mean, they got the last word. Not America anymore. It's Germany. And uh, Israel get together. All of a sudden, you know, things change in, NATO, in the UN. And this vote's not going to come due in September. And um, there's going to be collaboration. Oil in Israel. Germany needs oil for their manufacturing. Um, mammoth, giant, leviathan. Uh, structuring, uh, manufacturing structure. And um, Israel needs... A giant neighbor that's going to protect them and you know pull around its weight in the UN, Germany, because America's gone. America's gone, you guys. And um, then they're going to have to bring this Council of Religions in to um, quell the violence and the uprisings in the Middle East and all over Europe, which is basically based in some kind of religious um, form. Not right now. It's all religious. Okay, that's my dream. That's my vision I had last night. I had just to get it out there. This is Duck Out.